am teacher Jackie and look, I am like naked here. <laughs> I need to cover up. <laughs> well, I am going to redo my background. I have been teaching my fourth contract now. So thank you for being here and thank you for watching the video. And I wanted to show you, I'm right now, <clears throat> excuse me, using the app called Zoom to record. Now I will tell you the cropping for Zoom is wider than it will be for the classroom. VIP Kid used to allow you to go into the classroom beforehand, like several hours beforehand. Now it's only about 10 minutes before class. So I can't go to a test class and look at where the crop is in the Zoom. In the Zoom. You know what I'm trying to say? And so I want to quickly show you. I'm just going to think, okay, a few things. One, lighting. This shadow isn't the best, but um, I'm fine. My desk, I'm going to push my desk back a little bit sure stops moving there we go I have a light and I have a piece of paper I just have a piece of paper covering it so it's not like right on me I don't have a, a fancy ring or you know multiple lights I've tried that before this actually has just been the best thing having um, I have white walls so it kind of reflects around the other thing what else um, camera make sure the camera is above your eye level you don't want the camera at your eye level or lower uh, the screen, like right now, if I'm looking right at myself, you look, see me not looking at you, right? But uh, you, knowing the camera's right there, I can use my peripheral vision to go, look, right here is this shadow. So see, I'm still looking at the camera, but I'm using my peripheral. You'll learn that if you're a new teacher or learning or training or what do you call it? Applying, <laughs> you will get that. So here we go. I have been using a very simple background. In the past I've used maps, haven't we all? I've had a globe. I've had everything in the world. I even had gone to a teacher store and got this wonderful welcome thing. And I was going to put the kid's name on it. It's just too much maintenance. I've actually hung it upside down and covered it. So you just saw the fun confetti. So it was right here. You should see some old videos with that in there. I like my apples. I've been doing my apples for a while. I'm going to just rearrange them differently. So right now I'm looking. Now zoom. I can go as far as over here, but I'm going to come in a little bit to right about there. Okay. Now my wall has a rough texture and so I'm using duct tape actually. So it's really tacky and it'll hold and it'll stay in place. So I'm going to put the next apple right below it. Excuse me, I gotta turn my head real quick. There we go. And if you're new to VIP Kid, you want to be a five Apple teacher that gets you up in the ratings. It's kind of silly because five is like perfect where, you know, three is average, right? It should be three, four, five should be, but you know, in this world, we want five star, you know, five star hotels, maybe a four, but who wants to go to a three, two, or one? So one, two, three, four, that's a real fun, colorful apple. One more, let's see. I should overlap them more. But anyway, this is something you should do. You should make sure you're in the frame. Make sure I got this fun little guy. But maybe he's. So I'm going to play with this and I'll be right back. <laughs> I had them going over here and there was this glare from my light. And this is that shadow sides and it's a little maybe angled differently. So I put them over here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a five apple teacher. Got a little smiley face down there. And again, I'm not sure. It may be cropped by the time I get into the classroom. One other thing you don't need to require, you know, again, you're going to look at videos. You're going to say, well, this is pretty simple. I teach level two through level eight. Huge span of what that is. Level one is like I have no idea what you're saying in English, and it is all charades and all animated. You need to stand up to teach, as you can maybe tell I'm sitting right now. I'd like to stand to teach. That's a whole nother thing. <laughs> so one of the things you should have, not required, but again, you should, is your name. I like to have my name. I like to have the logo. Some teachers teach with different companies, so I am going to that there. Tack it up there. There's a little glare because I had a, a clear tape on there before. That's fine. They don't care. Another five apples. Maybe overkill. I can just cut that off. Not a big deal. And if I wanted my son glasses guy over here again, I could just tack him up and he can hold that down for me. There you go. And that's a very simple 
background. This is actually really good for traveling as well, which I have done in the past. But overall, please do not make it complicated. Do not feel like you have to have the entire alphabet behind you because there are many parents who have given feedback about things being, you know, what they call it, a location. One teacher goes, what is this feedback? You know, and it was a tag. They're pre-written tags by the company. And it said something about the location. She goes, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? I go, well, it's probably your environment. It's probably more of um, your decorations. And she teaches it like me. She teaches a good range, two to five. And it was very elementary looking for her older students. So be simple, be easy, and be make it professional and all will go well. Have a good one.